What is the importance of planning and evaluating health promotion programs? The main causes of death in our world now are stroke, cancer, and heart attack. They are truly complication of pandemics, chronic disease pandemics, like diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, cancer, obesity, and others. People are dying because of preventable diseases. Is there something we can do to help? Is there something we can do to prevent? Yes, definitely. We need to prevent the risk factors that are associated with chronic disease. Those lifestyle related factors such as sedentariness, smoking, irresponsible alcohol drinking, low intake of fruit, vegetables, uh, whole cereals and nuts, high intake of animal food, sugary food, sweetie foods, and refined foods, and stress. But how we can change from our old habits in which we practice and we like all of this is through health education, through health promotion, through changing ourselves or to changing the environment in which we live ourselves, the social environment, the policy rules, or the physical environment in such a way that I will be more facilitated, more empowered to make the lifestyle change I need to do. So that is why it's very important, health promotion and health education. And promoters, health promoters, health educators need to know all the steps of uh, producing, conducting successful health interventions. We have studied these great four steps. Assessment, planning, intervention, and evaluation. Remember, those are the basic. Assessment, we have to know the reality, the problems of a country, of a community, of a region, and then we have to plan to convert those problems in objectives. Those become the objectives in our planning. And our planning includes not only objectives, activities, also includes strategies, preferentially theory-based. And after that, we are ready for implementation. Oh, before that, of course, we need to plan our marketing, our marketing system our health communication strategy, how we are going to communicate. Of course, we have to identify and allocate all the resources we need. We have to implement a system of management of all these resources. We have to identify the priority things, and we have to put in practice those plans. And remember, to finish a successful intervention, it's very important to evaluate in order to learn lessons, to keep repeating those things that are good and to correct those things that need to be corrected. So next generation, applying the program we apply, will have better conditions, will have a better program, and the cycle will repeat again. Assessment, planning, intervention, and evaluation. It was an honor to spend you all these weeks talking about planning and evaluating health promotion programs.